Hello there, I'm Pat Sharp and here I am in the fine city of Dublin and thanks to discoverireland.com I'm going to find out what this city is all about and of course you're invited to come along for the journey. Shall we start in the pub? Dublin is such a vibrant city with so much to see and do. As we approach the festival season, the place is certainly oozing with culture. Everywhere you turn, there's live music, fabulous architecture, and people having their crack. <laughs> Dublin also has a fascinating history and an array of literature legends. So to tell me more about this, is Mr. Pat Liddy. How do you do, sir? Hello, Pat, how are you? And of course you want to know who this young yes. man here is. who is this young man? This young man uh, is the reason an awful lot of people come to Dublin. He's Arthur Guinness. Okay. And he was married in this church. And in fact, uh, his wife gave him 21 children. Now, interesting you say in this church, because I'm sure people watching now can see lots of alcohol, so kind of a weird church. Different. <laughs> well, it's the second oldest church in the north side of Dublin, but alas, its congregation had uh, died away. So it's been very tastefully uh, transformed into a cafe bar, a lovely cafe bar. And of course it was in this church at the organ behind us that George Frederick Handel uh, would often practice when he stayed here for 10 months in the 1740s. So it's a very historic building. Where would you suggest we go in Dublin then for the rest of our trip? What, would, what should we visit? What should we not miss, Pat? Oh, well, definitely Trinity College, Dublin Castle and uh, Places like that, Stevens Green, the Phoenix Park. Lovely, and you're willing to show us around, come with us? Oh, listen, I, I'm so looking forward to this. Oh, thank you. I'm only upset that you only said he was half a Guinness. I thought I was gonna have a whole pint. <laughs> well, hey! the Holy Spirit is here. <laughs> <laughs> So where exactly are we now, Pat? We're in front of the great Trinity College, our oldest university, founded in 1592. And it was from here that some of our greatest uh, writers came. Uh, for instance, Oliver Goldsmith, Bram Stoker wrote Dracula, uh, and of course, Oscar Wilde himself. We are here in the Five Star Merion Hotel, very smart here in Dublin. And Brian, how would I get one of the City of a Thousand Welcomes vouchers if I was coming from somewhere in the world to Dublin? How would I get one of the vouchers? Well, you click onto our website, City of a Thousand Welcomes. Uh, you fill in the brief questionnaire, uh, given your interests, when you will be here. Uh, we will meet you and uh, tell you about Dublin. I'll bring you out and give you a free drink. Well, cheers to that. Absolutely. Cilantro. Well, I had a fantastic time in this fine city. I met some great people, had lots of fun, and been educated as well, which is not easy. I hope to return soon and highly recommend that you too jump into Ireland and discover this great country. <laughs>